So I think that if we think about everything that needs to take place with 5G, new bands, higher frequency as well as mid-band and low, different technologies have to coexist. It's pretty clear that you won't be able to have a successful full 5G network the way that operators hope to without, without looking at automation and, and artificial intelligence technologies. And I know that Huawei has, has referenced it sort of as the fourth dimension, if you will, of, of 5G success. Coming along things like, obviously, EMBB, uh, URLCC, as well as massive IoT. And although the first three are really use cases, those are what will drive the success of 5G. And in the same way, I think it's, it's interesting to think about automation as that fourth dimension, because you really won't be able to have 5G the way we want it without having automation. I think the most important thing for the industry to have operators move in that direction and really just make the effort and make it a commitment to do that. I think we've known for a while that these technologies, although they're constantly evolving, the core technologies about network automation, service automation, have existed for a while, right? So the question is just where is the commitment? Can we get the commitment to operators to move in that direction, to move towards closed loop, to move in the direction of implementing these technologies in their networks so we can actually get to a place where we can improve upon them but begin to put them to use? So I, I think if we go back to this idea that we want to get to closed loop, fully autonomous, self-driving networks, the evolution is going to be stepwise. Introducing new tools that move from predictive to proactive, how do we move in that direction to the place where we can begin to trust some closed loop than fully closed loop. It's a long process, but, but it's, it's one that we need to start on. The ultimate goal really is this closed loop automation where you don't need as much human touch. Not because we don't want people to be involved, but because we want them to be able to be handling all the multiple dimensions, all the multiple facets, and deliver high quality for the end user so that the, the quality is there, but also at a cost point where the operators can continue to roll out the services that are affordable for users. And I think that's really the key. I mean, we tend to get bogged down in some of the, the technologies here, but ultimately it's about looking at rolling out networks that can deliver a good experience at the right price point.